Hey Colony, how are you guys doing? I hope that you're all doing very well and that you're having a great day, a great morning, a great evening, or a great afternoon. Great, 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 great. So, you know, I'm going through um, a lot of stuff and I'm trying to like simplify and I've got to like give clothes away and make donations to uh, Goodwill and Salvation Army and the Out of the Closet Thrift Store and so I start going through all these boxes and bags and blah, blah. And, you know, sometimes I come across items that I didn't really appreciate when I first got them that I have a much better appreciation for right now. MTV, Viacom, VH1, sent me um, this great Christmas gift this year. Uh, and one of the items they gave me was this. this. Now, when you're opening up like a lot of presents at a time, you don't have like a lot of time to like, you know, look, understand what it is and then, you know, really appreciate it. So, you know, you open it like, oh, wow, thank you, that's so sweet. On to the next one. This, I thought was a fan, like one of those portable personal fans. Can you see that? It's not. It's a Solio universal charger for electronic devices that stores power. Yeah out of the donation box and back into the it's staying in my closet until I can figure out a use for it box. You just plug it into a socket and then plug it into the sun. And it says it'll work with my Blackberry. I'm so excited. I can't even tell you how thrilled I am about that because uh, when I was in Florida, I forgot my charger to my Blackberry. So I was like literally like on for 10 minutes on Saturday. I gave myself nine minutes on Sunday. You know what I mean? I like portioned out the time. So I'm going to just throw that in my suitcase and it's going to live there forever. And then now if I ever forget my charger, I can't forget the sun because it's everywhere I go. So the yeah. <sighs> I'm all excited. I get to be green too. Uh, I want to also talk about... Um, Meanie, the meanie. Uh, if someone comes up to you and they have a comment about somebody in the colony or me or whatever, consider the source. That's all I have to say. Let's just consider the source. Um, somebody approached somebody in the colony and said some things about me, and this person was a little concerned, not that they were true, but that there was this person going out saying these mean things. You know, and I just, Here's the party line. When you're in the limelight or in the public eye, people will write things about you that aren't true. Believe me, I've been in the tabloids enough to know, not true. They will whisper campaigns, stuff that isn't true. They'll just make things up because they want to knock you down a couple of pegs or their ego can't handle the fact that you are in a position that potentially or maybe they wanted and couldn't achieve. So just turn the other cheek. You know the truth. Here you are. So enough said about that. It's just, uh, I was just giving it a lot of thought, and I was like, God, why, why do people get upset about that stuff? And, and if I've had time to sort of grow a thick skin and not let it bother me, whereas you guys are my newer friends, so you're very protective of me, and God, that is so sweet. It really is. You know, but I just turn the other cheek. It doesn't bother me. So hopefully that'll help uh, some of you guys out that are going through that right now. Um, what else? Oh, Bedbug, I read your uh, Law of Attraction little positive update at the NBC colony. I thought that was awesome. Yeah, ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. God, those, those books are, I guess, going to now start making you some money when you have schools recommending you to other schools. You know, it's not like word of mouth among human beings where we have to go one person at a time. you got an entire school recommending you to another school and other administrators and teachers. That's so cool. That's really good multi-level marketing. Uh, so that was the bright spot of reading my blog comments yesterday for me. I, I just got a kick out of that. Uh, and yesterday, Blogsy with your 137-pound breast choke. Hilarious! Hilarious. Uh, Heidi girl... Uh, saying the word orgasm on a blog does not make it R-rated, or at least not at this blog. That was just so cute that you did that. And we stop with the spelling typo mistakes. We all make them. 
<sighs> you hold yourself to a standard I can't hold myself to. This Blackberry has spell check and it makes a spelling mistake. It's spelling everything the British way. I wrote the word favor, F-A-V-O-R, it changed it to F-A-V-O-U-R. The person wrote me back and said, what are you, you know, pretentious now? I'm like, no, my Blackberry is. Well, that's it. Today, I'm going to see Richard's play at uh, the Complex Theater in Hollywood at Theater Row. If any of you colony members are going to be around, come to the show tonight. I would love to see you. Um, you can go to Romeo's Ghost dot com I believe is the website I could be wrong on that but just do a google search for Romeo's Ghost Hollywood and it'll come up but I'll be there uh, tonight so I hope to see you guys if not I I'm sure I will see you here well I'm sure I will because uh, I'm always here I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow <laughs>